Hey, it's time to live in your 100. I'm Jason Yerusi, and we're going to be bringing to you the Live 100 podcast. Let's do this. So most of our time in our life is that we have to change our mind before we can make the big changes in our day and our part. And we grow up. We grow up surrounded by people that maybe have like kind of thoughts and their thoughts maybe start to evolve us into who we become today. It's not because they really are trying to do something poor for us or not trying to put us in the right position to be successful. It's however, it's what they were exposed to, right? We can't take the same feedback from my grandma who went through the Great Depression as I can from people today, right? Because she lived different times and she's making different choices. She's getting different outcomes based on what she faced at her time. So as we go through our day, through our life, and if we want to live 100, in all aspects of our life, we have to treat it as if each day is that new chance for us to try new things to become better. And for me, I started running. I started running ultra marathon. And it was just something that I just went out there to try because it was something I wanted to expose myself into a new breed of what could be possible within myself. And when I looked at the first 100 mile race, I couldn't tell you exactly how that felt because I had never done that before. And I didn't know anybody else who had done that. But ideally, I said, okay, I'm going to try something outside of what I'm used to. What do I need to do? Well, I need to put myself in the uncomfortable. So I started running for 300 days straight, every single day, six miles a day, no matter whether it was raining or my ear hurt, my nose hurt, you know, I was sick, you know, my kids um, were home from school. I started doing that each and every day. So it put me in a position that I had to take action regardless of how I feel. Because how many of us, how many of you have said to yourself, oh, you know what, today's not good, you know, I got up a little late, or, you know, tomorrow's better, and then what happens? Does tomorrow ever come? It doesn't. So I started doing this, preparing myself for this race. And when I got into this race, I said, well, I don't know how to run 100 miles. I've never felt this before. So if I thought about this, and this is talking to most of how they look at their big audacious goals, is that it scares you from taking action, right? Because you say, oh, I don't know how to go out there and make a million dollars. So what you'll do is you won't start because you're worried about the million dollars. So for me, to get to 100 miles, to get to the end of this race, I couldn't say, well, I just have to go run 100 miles because if I was starting and I hadn't even done a mile yet, what's going to happen, right? I'm going to be too scared to take action, so I'm going to stop. So I said, okay, what do I know? I know I can run six miles, so let me just run six miles and get to the first aid station. So I got there, and lo and behold, I'd accomplished what I'd said I was going to do. So then I said, well, let me just see if I can run another six miles. And so I run that next six miles. And when I got there, I said, okay, well, Okay, I'm now 12 miles in, but at least I've run this six miles. Well, let me just see what I can do next. And if I don't feel like it, let me just get to the next part and I can decide now if it's a better time to stop. And if you think about your goals, it's the first step that matters. Because that first step, you take it. You start putting yourself in a perspective to have better answers because now you've asked a better question of, okay, I took a step. Was that the right direction? If it is, well, great, let's keep going. If it's the wrong direction, well, now you have feedback that you can say, you know what? This isn't the best direction for me. Let me ideally look at where I could go and make a new choice. But at least you have eliminated something from your path that you should no longer do. So as I ran six miles, I would run another six miles. Let me just get to that next aid station and then the next aid station. And you know, things get tough. So I, maybe I'm not running six miles anymore. My mind is like, let me just run 500 more steps. Okay, let me just run 200 more steps. Let me, let me just run to that bridge. And okay, let me just run another 200 steps to that tree. And I'll figure it out then. If I don't feel like keep going, well, then I'll stop there. And most of us stop before we even start. So lo and behold, I run another 200 steps, another 500 steps, another 100 steps. And where am I? I'm at my goal. I've now completed 100 miles. And that's over a series of step after step, not 100 miles at a time, but little events that I took to get to my goal. And here at the Live 100 podcast, we're going to look at how people have become who they are today through the steps they've taken one day at a time, where you can implement in your life to become the best version of yourself today, starting today, not waiting for anything big to happen in your life. That's what the Live 100 podcast will do for you. It can take you to the new level that you're meant to come to. Let's do this. Hey, thanks for joining us. If you enjoyed this podcast, make sure you go down there and give us a review and share this with someone else that this could help as well to live their 100. Let's go.